Hey there, we're Client Liaison and we're here to talk about some of our favourite music videos. So first up is Elevator Up, our most recent video, which was all shot on one location. Yeah, what was great about this clip is that we built the walls of an elevator, but then we had a big soft box uh, in the top, which means we didn't have to change up the lighting settings and reset the lights, which after having done 15 video clips is probably the most painful thing about shooting. Instead of using actors, we just played all the characters ourselves. So it's based off the seven deadly sins with there's the classic client liaison who enter the elevator. And then there's seven deadly sins of us in different characters. One of the main criteria was we wanted to match the hectic energy of the song. That's why we went to like, at the end, we flipped the lights to red and just everything went pretty insane. So, Champagne Affection. I got to dress up as the host and God, I've never put on that much foundation and makeup and I really felt like the license to be someone else, um, which is a feeling felt when you, yeah, you put on a mask, you can express something that you didn't know was there inside you. Uh, so the main cast were our friends. Um, Isabella was a friend of ours. He's done some TV work and also um, Jackson Gallagher, who was the um, contestant who surpassed me and got the girl in the end. Uh, and it was it was nice working with friends that like are proper actors. It was also um, quite scary having to do the, a kiss scene, um, you know, and have that that intense, the proper right amount of passion. Um, it's not often I'm like kissing girls in front of a camera, but I think it, I think it paid off. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing to see yourself smooching. Limousine. So the next clip we're gonna talk about is Off-White Limousine, which was such a fun venture for us because we wrote a song about an off-white limousine and we had to go and buy one. Um, so we hit the um, gum tree and we found a 1983 Mercedes. A perfect, perfect car, other than it wasn't off-white, it was actually Arctic white, but that didn't matter in the context of the film. And then we tried to create an opus of a music video, so to speak. My favorite shot in the clip is one that came by chance. Um, my cousin Tom rocked up on the day just wanting to lend a hand as we were filming in the city. And his partner at the time's grandparents had a house on Collins Street with a balcony just, you know, overlooking. And the guys ran up there with a big sort of 400 mil lens, lent over and got this great shot which looks to, uh, to be through the scope of the gun uh, played by the assassin, Eric, who's a former SAS serviceman. And that shot just, you know, it's a quick shot, but it just took a lot of effort and it really sort of sets the scene of how it was a real team effort and we all sort of came together. It's quite funny that this, this music video is not really PG because there is actual guns and proper blood and violence. Uh, some of my cousins were quite shocked to see Harvey get shot, but we assured them he's, he's doing okay, which is, is a nice little perk at the end when Harvey's in the... Um, hospital and he survived. I love that little funny twist, twist yeah. Love in what was once a dream. So the next music video is A Foreign Affair featuring Tina Arena. This was directed by Tim White, who did an incredible job. He also directed Wildlife. Um, and we won a Triple J award for this, for best video of the year, which is pretty incredible. A big inspiration was Harvey put a video together with found footage for this music video as a brief, and he used a lot of the Cafe Pacific educational um, material that they would show staff and the advertisement material, and it involved a lot of collage. And so we replicated that by filming a model airplane, Anset airplane, and then we had cityscapes in the background and then we filmed us and Tina Arena in the studio on a, uh, we bought some um, business class chairs and filmed us in there. And we also filmed on an actual 737 where uh, people film. This is our ode to our favorite airline, Ansett Australia. One other thing that was fantastic to see was uh, 
we've been accepted into the ANSET former employees private Facebook group and posting this content along with other content to that group and seeing uh, all the former employees of ANSET's faces light up, um, it makes us feel fantastic and it really puts a smile on our face as well. Well, thanks so much for having us. My name's yeah. Monty. I'm Harvey, we're client liaison and thanks for watching.